hi beautiful welcome back to my channel so for today's video i thought i would just do a get ready with me slash first impression on the latest eyeshadow palette from mac and this is the flamboyant so this is from their art library collection and it's currently 10 p.m and i'm so sorry for my hair and all that it's because it's the end of the day it's almost bedtime but i thought before i'm I go to bed I would put on some makeup I'm going to prime with the Colourpop all star primer now I have a lot of friends at the moment because it's that time of the month so excuse my current state and also my eyes is a little bit red mainly because it's past my bedtime I think I'm gonna let the primer sink in and we will start with the eyes actually because I really want to put this palette to the test now I did a haul and this is what the palette looks like it's so pretty and inside it comes with a huge mirror a plastic slip with the shade names which we actually don't need because the shade names is at the back these shades it's so pretty it's a mixture of coppery tone shades and plummy ish kind of cranberry shades so i am going to actually use this one right here called flame buoyant as my lid color i'm going to prime my eyes with this revolution conceal and define concealer and this one is in the shade c 8.5 to set my base i am going to go and use this shade right here, this one, called Samoa Silk, and I'll pick up a flat brush. One thing I've noticed about MAC eyeshadow is that it's quite dry, so you get pigment, but the fact that it doesn't have fallout, it's pretty good for me, because you don't have to worry about cleaning it up. For transition shade, I am going to go and use this one right here called rule Ooh, it comes off a little bit peachy on my skin tone so we're going to put that all over the lid and the, mainly focus on the crease and i'll bring that up to about the brow bone with the same brush i am going to go and use this shade right here called dolly wood and use that just below rule and with the same brush I'm going back to rule once again and just buff out the edges with a sort of like an angled brush if I could find one I am going to go and use blue at first sight which is this one right here and I'm going to focus that on the outer V and bring that in just underneath the crease because I really want this look to be like red and flamey and I'm going to go back to Dollywood and blend I'm going to use the same brush and Use this shade right here called Everyone's Darling and really go on the outer V and then lower lash line a little bit. For the lid, I am going to go and use this shade called Flame Buoyant. And ooh, that's a really nice shade. So I'm going to use my finger. Ooh, girl, it's on fire. I'm going to use a brush to really precisely place that. And I didn't use any fixed plus or anything like that. So I'm going to go back and use love at first sight. Just to blend. For foundation today, I am going to use the Colourpop No Filter Foundation. And I'm in the shade 135. Just pop that on and I'm going to use the sponge. 
For concealer today, I'm going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define once again because I really want the under eye to be bright since we're dealing with a very warm eye. And to kind of bake just a little bit on the inner corner, I'm going to use the RCMA powder so I don't crease when I'm contouring. So for contour, I'm going to use the Fenty Match Stick. To finally set all over the face, I am going to go back and use the RCMA powder with a powder brush. Lightly set the whole face. Apply shades on my under eye. I think I'm just going to go with two shades. So I'm going to start with rule first, which is this one right here. And pop that. I am going to go and use everyone's darling which is this one right here on the outer that's it for the lower lash line and for inner corner highlight okay, I'm going to use this one right here which is called what's the pointillism so it's a nice gold shade I mean it's white but it has like a gold reflex to it This is the eye makeup done. So I'm just going to quickly bronze my face with this MAC. This is called Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deepest. For blush, I'm actually going to use the eyeshadow. And I think I'm going to use this shade right here called Rule. So we keep the monochromatic side. That's actually quite pretty. And for highlighter, I'm going to go and use this shade right here called What's the Point to Listen? And I'm going to use the ABH highlighter brush. Ooh. It's a pretty subtle highlight. Kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty. Mean Money and Hustler Baby highlighter, which I actually absolutely love, and I'm so obsessed with this eyes. So for lips, I think I'm gonna go for a nude. So what I'm going to do is to line my lips with the World Lip Pencil from Mac. For lipstick, I am going to go and use Max lipstick in Fanfare, which is a little bit too pink for this look. So I think I'm going to sheer it out a little bit with this EXO Beauty liquid lipstick, and this one is in the shade Summit. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the final look. Overall, my thoughts. I actually do love the formula of. MAC eyeshadows in my personal opinion mainly because they have less fallout they're very very pigmented though some shades are kind of patchy but in this eyeshadow palettes case everything was very pigmented everything was very blendable especially the shade right here called flame buoyant it's flamey like it's like hot cheetos on another level i love it i'm so obsessed with this i will make another eye makeup look using this eyeshadow palette this time it's more of like a capri bronzy look once again but yeah i hope you guys really enjoyed this video please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more updates and this is like a newish style of video where i just get ready straight to the point and also i try a little bit of new products leave it in the comments down below what other looks you wanted me to do and i will catch you on the next one bye